When I was a little boy, I always loved clothes. And basically, the first recollection of that was when I used to get Cracker Jack, the boxes of Cracker Jacks. And we had little uniforms, probably when I was about five or six years old, little blazers. And what I would do is I would get these little hand-painted metal birds that would become this little prize inside, and I'd pin them on my lapel. Originally, I was born in Heidelberg, Germany, and I moved to New York when I was a year old. I actually came over on a ship called the SS United States, and I had my first birthday on that ship. Aboard the ship was Salvatore Dali, and he was celebrating his birthday. We were born the same day. I don't know how long we were in New York, probably only a few days, but moved to California, where my mother is from, and I grew up in California, and I lived there till 1978. I um, grew up in a small town called San Luis Obispo. I went to Pepperdine in Malibu. My mother always loved fashion. Um, she met my father during the war and they got married. He was in the army. He was from Pennsylvania. He was one of nine children. He was Irish, of course, and he was an amazing guy. My mother really cared about dressing. My father could be a little... Uh, my father cared about dressing. He always appreciated how my mother looked. And what was great is that he always liked my twin brother and I, as we were kids, to always look nice and look great. And he didn't care about if what it cost or anything like that. Just, he wanted us to look nice. And the reason why I moved to New York was because when I was in high school, my mother started taking Interview Magazine. I read about clubs and the scene and Mick Jagger and all that, and I just had to live in New York. I went to Studio 54. Um, I met uh, Ilio Fiorucci, I believe, there. And he said, go into the store. I was looking for a job. I started working at Fiorucci. It was my first job in New York. I met so many fabulous people there that I'm still friends with today, like, for instance, Joey Arias. I met Lauren Azurski at studio. We became, we were lifelong friends. Uh, Klaus Nomi, I got to meet then and go see him perform all the time. It just was an amazing, amazing time in New York. I shed things and move on because I just don't have the room for them. I've lived in different, many different places in New York. I lived in the Maurice on 58th Street. I lived on Sutton Place. I've lived in Chelsea. Now I live in the Lower East Side. And you just can't bring all that with you. I wish I could have saved it. I have a few pieces in my closet, but nothing over 10 years old. Nothing. I never really bought things that other people that I'd have because someone else had it. I bought it because I loved it. And it might have been of the moment, but we were living in the moment. Actually, if uh, my memory, if I start thinking about different times, I'll remember exactly what I wore. But you know what? It is clothing, and I, I'm not obsessed by it. I've never gone without eating to get something. <laughs> what sends me into a trance is traveling the world and looking for fashion treasures. It sends me into a trance. It could be the flea market in Paris. It could be um, anywhere. It could be anywhere. It could be here in New York, which I love. I love just exploring new places and going everywhere. This is my Killam coat, which I love, and I bought it in the East Village. I ended up in the New York Post in this coat and it was a full page picture. And it was said, uh, is this the death of fashion? And it was a picture of me wearing this coat. But what I'm wearing now is, this scarf is Laura Piana and it was given to me by my dear friend, John Christensen as a gift and it's reversible. And I love that it was leopard. And I love leopard. I think I bought this in the flea market in Paris actually. And I think it had a little jewel on it, which fell off, but I kind of like it without. This is Christian Lacroix, this jacket. And I adore this jacket, and I haven't worn it yet. It's mm. very fitted, but I just adore how the fit is and just the feel of the, the velvet, the textured velvet. But what is, what I love about it when it's on is that I know what's inside, and that's what makes me feel great because it's like my own little secret that I have. I'm wearing a hat and a jacket made by Philippe and David Blonde. But they made me this about three years ago or four years ago. Uh, I took an old jacket and it was a file jacket I used to wear at night. I took it to them and they embellished it along with an Anthony Pito hat I had bought in Paris. And they just created this whole 
fantasy of black seashells and feathers and I wore it to Fashion Week. And I love it. It's kind of like a mix between a pearly king and Liberace. It's almost like a male showgirl outfit. I feel good in it. I feel good in it. And I pull it out of the closet every once in a while when, it come, when the right occasion comes up. And it always feels right. The Jalaba is actually, wasn't bought on travels. It was bought on a travel to Los Angeles, California. And it was bought in West Hollywood at a store called Maxfield Blue. But I just adored the color and I had to have it, and I'd worn it quite often. And actually, hidden away above, I have this in bright red. And I love it. There's different worlds. Some people don't like the fashion world. So you know what? Be in your world. I think that I'm a blank canvas in the morning, mm -hmm. and I, have, I can create every day what I want to do. Oh, I'm a dandy of all trades. A dandy, um, to me, is that I see beauty in everything.